Dear listeners, I have a tale that sends shivers down my spine every time I recount it. It begins innocently enough, in the echoing halls of an old, abandoned school, a place where unspeakable horrors took root. Once, this school was a place of laughter and learning, but that was a long time ago. Now, it stands as a decrepit, ghostly relic, its walls lined with eerie shadows and secrets too sinister to ignore. I dare you to step inside, but I warn you, once you do, there is no turning back. My story begins with a group of adventurous friends, much like yourselves, who had heard whispers about the school's dark history. The rumors were as chilling as the icy wind that swept through the broken windows. They spoke of a nightmarish event that had occurred there, an event so gruesome it had forced the school's closure. One evening, curiosity got the best of them, and they decided to explore the haunted building. Armed with flashlights and trembling hearts, they ventured into the darkness. The moment they crossed the threshold, the air grew colder, and the weight of malevolence pressed upon them. As they crept through the school's corridors, the sounds of their footsteps were punctuated by their anxious whispers. The atmosphere grew more oppressive with each step, as though the very walls were whispering terrible secrets. Their flashlights flickered and cast eerie, elongated shadows on the peeling wallpaper. In a forgotten classroom, they stumbled upon a chalkboard covered in cryptic symbols and arcane writings. The room seemed to grow colder as they gazed upon it. One of them, Amy, couldn't resist the urge to trace her fingers over the symbols. It was a decision she would soon come to regret. The moment she touched the chalkboard, an otherworldly scream echoed through the school, a guttural wail that seemed to reverberate from the very depths of hell itself. The friends froze in terror, unable to move as the school seemed to come alive with malevolent energy. Then, the horrifying conversations began. Whispers filled the air, cruel and incomprehensible. The walls spoke, telling tales of tragedy, despair, and unspeakable acts that had occurred within those forsaken halls. The voices grew louder, more sinister, as though they were closing in on the terrified group. In the midst of this cacophony, Amy's flashlight flickered and died. She was plunged into darkness, her heart pounding in her chest. She heard her friends screaming her name, but their voices were drowned out by the nightmarish voices that surrounded her. Desperate to escape, she stumbled blindly through the darkness, her hands outstretched, and encountered something cold and clammy. It was a hand, a hand that gripped her wrist with an otherworldly strength. She felt herself being pulled into an abyss of pure dread. Just when she thought all was lost, the lights flickered back on, and she found herself standing alone in the empty classroom. Her friends were gone, and the malevolent voices had fallen silent. Amy was left with only one chilling clue, a message scrawled on the chalkboard, they are not gone, they are just beginning. As time passed, the sinister secrets of the abandoned school continued to fester in the minds of the friends who dared to enter its haunted halls. Amy, the lone survivor, had been plagued by nightmares, night after night. In her dreams, she heard her friends' voices, trapped in the echoing abyss of that forsaken place. Their pleas for help echoed endlessly, a torment she couldn't escape. Amy's obsession with unraveling the mysteries of the school grew. She couldn't shake the feeling that her friends were not truly gone, but trapped in some nightmarish dimension just beyond her reach. Her search led her to a local historian, an elderly woman with a deep knowledge of the town's history. The historian revealed that the school had once been a sanctuary for a dark and secretive cult. Decades ago, the cult had practiced unspeakable rituals, binding their victims' souls to the very building itself. The school, once filled with innocent laughter, had become a prison for the tortured souls, and now they sought to claim more. Amy learned of an ancient incantation, a chant that could potentially open a rift between the living world and the spectral realm. Desperate to free her friends, Amy returned to the abandoned school, carrying a tattered book of arcane knowledge she had acquired from the historian. In the very same classroom where the horrors had unfolded, she began to recite the incantation. Her voice trembled as she invoked the dark powers that lurked within the school's crumbling walls. Shadows danced around her, and the temperature plummeted to an icy chill. As Amy's incantation reached its climax, a sinister laughter echoed through the room, mocking her efforts. The walls seemed to pulsate with an eerie energy, 
and Amy realized that she had unwittingly awakened something far more malevolent than the spirits of her friends. The cult's presence was still very much alive, and they had no intention of letting her succeed. In the final moments of the incantation, Amy's flashlight flickered, casting eerie shadows that writhed and contorted. The very air grew thick with darkness, and as the last word left her lips, the room erupted in a blinding flash of crimson light. When the light faded, Amy found herself standing alone in the classroom, her friends' voices still echoing in her mind. Her efforts to free them had only drawn her deeper into the nightmare. The message on the chalkboard had changed, now reading, You have unlocked the gate, but you are trapped with us. The horrors of the school were no longer confined to the building's walls. They had seeped into Amy's very soul, leaving her in a state of perpetual shock and terror. She had become a prisoner of the malevolent cult, forever bound to the nightmarish realm of the abandoned school. And as I conclude this tale, dear listeners, I leave you with a chilling thought, should you ever hear whispers of an abandoned school, a place where unspeakable horrors took root, heed the warning and stay far, far away. For the darkness that dwells within may claim more souls than you can possibly imagine, leaving you in a state of perpetual shock and terror, just like poor Amy, who dared to uncover the unspeakable mysteries hidden within those forsaken halls. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. If you have any queries, please comment below.